what's up everybody welcome back if you're new to my channel my name is carletta and here i talk about spirituality so for this video i'm going to be talking about tarot cards pick a card readings and akashic records and basically just giving a rundown on my personal experience um the things that i have went through when it comes to tarot cards and you know, how I feel about pick a car readings and things of that sort. And also giving information on the things that clients should look for when seeking out any type of reader. So with that said, let's get right on into it. So tarot cards are tools of divination. It is tapping into the spiritual realm. They are used to connect with your higher self, your intuition, and develop your connection with self and ability. So when it comes to getting a tarot reading from someone else, this person is predicting the near future, giving you possible outcomes in regards to whatever questions you may have or you know certain scenarios that can possibly play out. Tarot readings can also provide you with certain warnings in certain situations and also give you guidance. So it's really an open uh, situation, you know, and depending on the reader, most tarot readings, they are pretty much surface layer based. I would say it's like the appetizer, you know, it, it gives you a good idea of what's to come. It gives you a good idea of, you know, how to feel about your current reality and the circumstances that you're, you're in. Now, when it comes to tarot readers, there are several different kinds of tarot readers there are you know levels you know there are tarot readers that know how to tap into akashic records there are tarot readers that know how to channel information from different dimensions and spiritual guides and you know spirits and things of that sort so when it comes to channel tarot readings these tend to be more broad they are readings that give you more details and in-depth information and advice and help you to you know, find clarity on whatever decisions or um, conclusions you are trying to make in your life. Now, when it comes to Akashic Records, Akashic Records is like the full course meal. The tarot cards, the tarot readings, it's like the appetizer, the Akashic, in my opinion, it's like the full course meal. It's, it's more of an in-depth reading and it's tapping into your soul blueprint. You are finding out spiritual Data database information, you know, all of your history over time, you know, your past lives, karmic debt, the strengths that you have, the weaknesses you have, the possible challenges that you will go through in life, your patterns, um, possible tendencies, your mission here on earth, what your calling is, what your path is here. Um, information in regards to soul contracts that you have, uh, connections with others. And you can also find out information in regards to your spiritual guides, the people that protect you, the people that are with you, and where it is that you come from. You know, what is your star origin? What uh, star system you are in connection with and things of that sort, you know. If you are an angel, if you are um, this person, if you, you know, what overall is, does your soul come from? So when it comes to a tarot reading or any type of reading, the number one thing that you want to have is discernment. You want to be a good judge of character and know um, how to read energy. You know, you want to gauge that person's energy and just get a feel for their vibe. You know, if their energy resonates with your spirit. I think it's great to have a phone call with the person that you are trying to have a reading with, of course. You know, there are sessions where you you just set up appointment online and then go meet the person. But if you want to get a feel for that person's energy, you know, you can always go meet them first and then uh, make a decision or, you know, talk to them on the phone. But you definitely want to do some research. 
um, do some reviews, check out their reviews, their experience and find out, you know, how long they have been practicing, you know, how long have they been doing Akasha or tarot reading and things of that sort. And um, even though age is just a number and years is, is just time, it really doesn't dictate that person's um, level of gift. Because if a person is gifted, you know, that's indisputable. You know, you can't deny that. But it just gives you an idea and, and it helps you to be more comfortable with that person, you know, tapping into your energy and allowing that person to have access to your information. And another thing you want to check for is accuracy. You know, look for the reviews and just see if, you know, what they have been given is accurate. Um... And you can also, once again, check with spirit, check with your spirit guides, your intuition that lets you know um, if this person is in alignment with your highest good. Now, some things that I would say make a person a good um, tarot reader or an Akashic record reader is, you know, how do they present themselves? Are they polite? Do they have decency? You know, are they patient? Do they, are they kind? You know, these are key telling signs when it comes to a person's character. You know, if you feel like you are being rushed during a reading, you know, that should give you a red flag. You know, those should be signals going off inside of your brain like, okay, <laughs> you know, now every situation is different. That person might be booked with clients and things like that. But when it comes to a person that is truly of service, that, you know, wants to make sure that their client is getting all of their needs taken care of, they're going to take their time. They're not going to rush you through the process. And you're not going to feel unease. And um, the person should also have somewhat of a filter. You know, if you notice that they are just fueling things out, you know, they have no consideration for your feelings and, you know, they're kind of careless with their delivery then, you know, that should be a red flag as well because a true um, professional or just people that, um, let's just say, are mindful when it comes to their craft, they're going to have to be discerning as far as the, the information that they deliver. You know, they can't just throw things out there. You know, they have to know that you are ready to hear certain information in that moment. And in regards to my personal experience, I've had um, people on both ends of the spectrum. You know, I've had very great readings done where I've left with peace of mind and clarity. And, you know, I was happy and satisfied with the reading. And then I've had the other side of the spectrum where, you know, I felt like I was being rushed, you know, manipulated into giving away more money and, basically um, lied to, you know, the person wasn't as experienced as they present themselves to be. And so in turn, they were just trying to gas me up or just tell me what they thought, you know, my, cir my circumstances were when in fact, you know, they had no idea. So most definitely discernment is, um, is key. You know, if you notice that a person is trying to offer you all of these different packages, which has happened to me, um, and they're talking about thousands of dollars and you didn't even ask for any of this, you know, red flag should be going off. And I feel that when it comes to a person's services, if they are very, uh, let's say, settled in their career where they have been doing it for um a max amount of time, it's been quite some time they are vetted what they do, then a person, you know, they have the right to charge you whatever they uh, feel, you know, necessary for the quality of their work. But for a person that uh, really values their clients and are really loyal to being of service and things like that, they're going to take in um, consideration, you know, different matters, and they're not going to try to charge you an arm and a leg, you know, it's it's just it's just not of integrity to do certain things. So it's just it's just um, important to pay attention to those type of things. If a person is trying to take you to the cleaners, 
Yeah, red flag. <laughs> if they're offering you ridiculous, you know, prices and, you know, stuff like that, you know, you just want to be mindful of these things. And if you get the vibe that that person is more eager for payment than anything else, then that should be a red flag as well. Now, when it comes to pick a card tarot readings, um, that was something that I was interested in in the beginning of my spiritual awakening. And, you know, I was I was excited about it because I'm like, you know, I can get a reading one click button away on YouTube like this works out perfect. But one thing about me is that I love tarot cards. So it became an obsession for me. And then eventually it became an addiction where I was watching pick a card readings every day. And, you know, I had lots of uh, people that I was subscribed to. And I just want to say in regards to that, that just like anything, you have to know what your limits are. And for me personally speaking, what I realized is that, you know, constantly looking for confirmation and clarity and life from outside sources, it really just takes away that connection within your internal compass and connecting with your intuition. And that's what I noticed for myself. You know, I realized that my ability to manifest and creativity and, you know, just listening to my own spirit and spirit and things of that sort, it kind of had diminished. You know, it wasn't as in touch because I was so, um, so attached to watching these pick a card readings and things like that. So I had to dial back and, you know, now I'm limiting my terrible card, pick a card readings. I'll watch every now and then, but you know, I'm just not as tapped in as I was before, but that's just something to keep in mind. This is something that can be very addicting, <laughs> you know, and just like anything, when you're obsessed with something or addicted to something, you know, it takes away that connection within yourself and you don't want to put anything up on a pedestal. You don't want to put anybody else's opinions or advice up above your own. You know, you always want to listen to yourself most of all. So that's pretty much my thought on tarot cards, pick a card readings and Akashic records. Tarot readings, I feel like it's a great uh, thing to, to go to for guidance. Akashic Records is great for finding out your purpose and your life path. You know, if you're trying to find out what your calling is and you want to know more about yourself and why you're going through certain things, that's the way to find out. That's where it's at because Akashic Records is going to tell you everything you need to know. And it, it once again depends on the reader. You know, everybody has different levels and um, different information that they can access. You know, one person might be able to access you know, a certain level of information, the next person might be able to expand way more beyond that. So um, either way, you know, it's kind of like a crapshoot. You just kind of just, you know, check it out, see what you get from it. But Akashic Records is, is definitely helpful when it comes to finding out what you're here to do on earth. So I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that um, it brought some clarity or you simply just enjoyed it today. I appreciate you all tuning in as always, and I'll catch you in the next one.